Hi there. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, Yum group list and group info and how can you install uh, different Yum package groups uh, with one command. So sometimes, uh, say you wanna deploy a uh, database server with CentOS or Red Hat based uh, distribution, and you're not sure what package to install and uh, you just want to start with say MySQL and some packages uh, then you can make use of the the group install tool that comes up with yum this also gets handy sometimes you deploy a server with no GUI and then you want to install KDE or the desktop environment then you can try the group group uh, uh, packages, group of packages uh, that YAM has. So I have this CentOS uh, VM here. It's running uh, the latest one, I think 6.5. So uh, to see what are the groups, you can just type in YAM group list. Okay, so it's going to show you different package groups. Uh, it's just uh, grouping a lot of packages together and classify them based on their functionality. That's what it is, actually. Um, so, for example, if you want to sp uh, install a specific language, right, you can just, uh, you know, sp install a specific uh, language, right? So, on Greek support for your, you know, distribution, you can just say yum group install, you know, Greek, and then, you know, install that, right? So, it gets pretty handy sometimes, you know, because, you know, sometimes you're going to read the... Uh, Look at the Google and see what are the packages. So you're gonna make a, um, for example, um, NFS file server, right? So I can just say here. So you can tell you what are the groups I have installed here. As so I have these groups installed already, and these are the language that I installed. You see, I have some language that I don't need right now. I could remove those groups. That could save me some uh, space, right? And the available groups, what are available for me right now? Right, so this is uh, I can I can see that information. So uh, I can see load balancer, for example. I'm gonna make it a load balancer. Um, just so yum group info. I want to say load balancer. It gives me some information. What does this package has? So it has you know this manager package and it has this uh, default package and optional package, right? Um, so you can just you know install that group which will install all of those uh, and then you can you know modify it. Uh, the same thing goes for say I wanna see some security tools, right? Um, let me see what else can I SNMP support, right? That's very common these days. Right? If you want to configure SNMP on ER uh, server, right? So you can just say yeah, I'm group list. It tells you that you know, uh, sorry, group info. Right, it gives me some information. I it install net as an MP. So if I want to install as an MP server, I'm just a yum group install, and I want to say net. Uh, sorry, it's going to say as an MP support. So now it's going to only install that, that, uh, no, group uh, packages that are, uh, so it's going to some NetS and MP and NetS and MP tools. So these are the default one that is going to uh, install, right? That's what you need. You don't want to install optional until you need to. Um, so um, let's say why. And it's going to just install those. So now I have this server, I can configure SNMP traps and SNMP configuration can be done. And then, you know, if I want to monitor with the monitoring system, you know, I can send SNMP trap. So that's how we can, you know, easily install, uh, group install and check it out first before you go to, you know, look it up in different resources and kind of guess what packages you might need. Um, so uh, again, if you want to know more about it, just do manium. And if you do group, list right see more about this right 
and then learn more about it, right? You can group remove it, group info, right? And then I believe group install, right? Do it again, sorry. Group install, right? You can make an uh, yeah, so this is what it is, right? You can do a group install, they have more details about that. Um, so, um, it can be very handy, um, you know. Again, uh, if you like the video, uh, and then press the like button, and if you, um, you know, want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.